Hi folks, it's Teresa, Stringfield Ridge Farm. Today, I want to show you what's going on. <laughs> We've got a lot going on lately, and uh, well, we always do. Just like everyone else, we're busy all the time. And uh, right now, I am canning some peas and uh, crocheting and uh, cleaning up my back room <laughs> and getting ready for winter. And Lee is under the house getting the uh, floors leveled. He had just a little bit left to do to level the floors and uh, put uh, insulation under and get the underpinning back up. Uh, so we'll go out and visit him in a minute, but I wanna show you what I'm up to. And uh, so I had someone ask me about my crocheting. That is the main reason I'm doing this video is uh, to show some of my crocheting that I've done. Uh, I had several ladies ask me uh, uh, what projects I was, you know, exactly working on. I, I have told that I am making Christmas gifts uh, this year. I'm crocheting most of my Christmas gifts this year. Uh, so, I'm going to show you what I got. And uh, also, let you know, I'm canning right back here. Uh, canning black-eyed peas because we both like black-eyed peas. We have some dried uh, put away, uh, but, uh, you know, they take a while to cook. And since we both work and we like black-eyed peas, it's easier if we have the some canned that we can just come in and dump in a pan and heat up with the rest of the food. So that's what I'm doing back here on the oven, on the stove. Um, there you go. Lee does not like much seasoning in his black eyed peas. So all it's got in it is the salt, nothing else. And when I cook them, when I heat them up, that's all it'll have in it. He doesn't like, uh, I, I like some, you know, some fat in mine, <laughs> but he doesn't. So anyway, um, so I'm canning in some jars that came from the Amish store. And uh, Brenda at Duncan 1900 Homestead went to the Amish store and she was coming up to visit Higgs Rock Farm. And uh, so I met her there and uh, picked up some can uh, some jars. And uh, so I wanna show you that too. So we're gonna turn you around here and show you uh, the jars we got from Amish store through Brenda. Appreciate Brenda for bringing those up. So here's what she brought. These are $4.99 a dozen. And here's how they come and they have nothing on them. They're just plain jars. From what I understand, these are the kind of jars that a, uh, a manufacturer would get to put their goods in, and so the Amish get them and uh, resell them, and they are fine for canning. I have already canned some in them. That's what it says on the bottom there. I have already done some canning in these, and that's what my peas are going in. And I'm going to keep this box and put my peas back in there and uh, uh, put, stick that under the bed because I'm out of space anywhere else. <laughs> I'm out of space anywhere else to stick canned goods. We've got a lot of seeds drying up here. Lee done a whole lot of okra seeds. We've got a bunch of okra seeds still from last year, so we're going to take these and uh, package them up and put them in the freezer. That's marigold seeds, and oh, that's more okra seeds. We got tons of okra seeds. I forgot what this is. I can't see. Oh, that is a flower that someone gave me, and I got the seeds off of it. But anyway, we are set up for our wood stove. It's not quite time yet, but he's got it cleaned out and ready to go. Uh, after I get all the stuff off of it, brought my plants inside because it's getting cold. And so I had to bring all my plants inside. They need repotting, but I haven't done that yet. So anyway, all right, let's go around here in the living room and I'll show you my current project. This is gonna be a little purse for a little girl and I'm gonna make a, um, a toboggan to match it. So that's the bottom of the purse. You can see there, it looks like a little boat and then it'll come up and have a couple little uh, straps. 
So that's what I'm working on right now. And I'm working in the round, which I love. And that's how I'm making my purses. Here's another purse I just got done making. I have to fix the straps because I ran out of uh, yarn. So I have to get some more yarn and make this strap bigger like this one. But uh, that one's almost done. That's for a bigger girl, a teenage girl. And then I have some toboggans. And uh, these two will be for girls. And then I'll make some without the pom-pom um, for the boys. Uh, you can see some of my yarns there. I put the yarns I'm actually working on uh, sit in this chair waiting for me. There is a blanket I made for a grandson. And uh, last year, I'd done a video when I was sitting here in this comfy chair crocheting. Uh, I was doing a video that is titled, We Ain't Perfect. If you haven't seen that video, please go watch it. I will uh, put that link in the description below. So if you have not seen our um, We Ain't Perfect video, Go check that out. Now, here is one of the big bags I made. Uh, I've made two of these so far, and I have more uh, yarn ordered for these. This is just a big, huge bag for the daughters, the grown daughters. We'll be getting these. I hope none of them watch this video. If they do, they don't need to tell the rest of the girls, please. <laughs> uh, but these uh, are like overnight bag or beach bag or whatever you want to call it they are huge yes that is, it is a huge bag and those are crocheted with ribbon uh yarn it's called and it's kind of a almost a t-shirt material it's very thick and heavy and uh, i've done that because i wanted these to be big Thick, heavy bags that they can throw anything in for overnight bag or beach bag or grocery bag or whatever they want to use it for. So there's our, I'm calling them overnight bag. That's what I'm doing for my grown girls. And then the little uh, crocheted purses that are going to be um, regular yarn that I just showed are uh, for the grandchildren and the uh, uh, toboggans. And I may make toboggans to go with these. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for my daughters. I always do extra special for my daughters because they buy for their grandkids. They buy for their kids, uh, which is my grandkids. So I get them a little something each. There's 14 of them now, uh, fixing to be 14. And uh, so I just get them a little something and then I spoil my girls, my five daughters, I always get them some nice things uh, because uh, they're my kids and they take care of their kids so I don't have to worry as much about the grandchildren as I do my children. So that's what we do. All right, here's another thing that uh, we're working on. Not really working on, it came in today. Uh, this came in today, we're excited about. Blue Cup Club Cups. <laughs> Blue Cup Club Cups. These are actually made. Won't peel off, y'all. Uh, I made the other Blue Cup Club Cups that we've had. And a lot of them, the letters, the, um, letters peeled off of there. We also added our name down there. Blue Cup Club, Stringfield Ridge Farm. There you go. Now, what we're going to do with these is, this is 22 ounces, um, and what we're going to do with these, um, be sure you watch Lee on Blue Cup Adventures, and uh, so he's going to be giving some of these away, and uh, on our Stringfield Ridge Farm uh, channel, okay, our channel members will get a free Blue Cup Club Cup. Uh, we'll be mailing those out before Christmas. 
So as a Christmas present, <laughs> our members will get a cup. And if they want two cups, if you have two uh, members, husband and wife or whatever, and you need two cups, let us know. And uh, for the price of the shipping, which is somewhere around six or seven dollars, um, we'll send two. We will send one free just for you being a member. But if you want two, you're going to have to PayPal us. Um, I'm going to go six dollars. So if you send us six dollars, we'll send you two cups. I also, we'll be doing some of these as giveaways, especially on Lee's channel, uh, Blue Cup Adventures. He's fixing to uh, do some more videos on his channel, and he'll be giving some of these away. And uh, we'll do some giveaways coming up soon. Probably be after Christmas because I need to get members mailed out first. And after we get members mailed out, then probably after Christmas, after the first of the year, we'll start doing giveaways with these for uh, everybody on our channels. And uh, so there you go. I love these. And that won't peel off, y'all. <laughs> All right, there's what Lee's doing. He's got quite the mess, but he has been working really hard underneath this house. Um, of course, he works, so he can only do it on the weekends. And then a lot of weekends, he hasn't been able to do it because of the rains and things. And he is finally getting finished up and putting the underpinning back. Yay, go Lee. So, he uh, leveled our floors and sturdied them up and put insulation underneath there. And now he is putting that underpinning back. So happy. Uh -huh. So happy for that. Six months. It's been six months with no underpinning. <laughs> but it's fixing to get cold. It, I counted. It's been about six months. Yeah. <clears throat> but it is fixing to get cold, so we had to, uh, he had to, um, get on it and get it done. All right, let's go see the rabbits. This morning, we put, uh, one of the female rabbits in with the male to, uh, try to breed them. And, um, we're a little late doing this. We should have really done this a month ago. At least a month ago. Um, I didn't want it to be too hot on them. And our weather fluctuates so bad. Um, it gets really hot in the summertime. And really cold in the wintertime. And uh, like right now, it gets up warm during the day. But at night, it is um, getting cold. So, we should have already put them together. Oh, I think they must already be done. There's Mr. Bunny. Mr. Bunny looks pleasantly happy. Mrs. Bunny. All right, so uh, we have another Mrs. Bunny. This is Biddy Bunny, because she's kind of mean. Let's see her. She's way up hid up in there. Her name's Biddy Bunny, because she's kind of mean. So uh, hopefully we'll put her over there with him next. There's what I'm looking for. That black gold down there on the tarp underneath. We'll be using that, putting that in the compost and using it on the garden. And, uh, yeah, I think they are probably done with their business there. Lee can put her back. She's kind of feisty, too. I can't handle the females. I can handle Mr. Bunny. But for some reason, Mrs. Bunny and Biddy Bunny are hard to handle. So Lee will have to put her back and bring Biddy Bunny over here. He might not want to fool with her today. We might wait until another day to do her. But uh, yeah, there we go. The chickens are out here scratching around in the compost. We did get the loofahs down out of the tree and off of the chicken coop. And uh, if I can get over here, I'll show you that. Let's see. I know. 
I know. All right. Hey, dude. In the greenhouse, there's the loofahs. I mean, there is like 50 loofahs. Some of them are probably too small. And we had to go ahead and get them off because we're fixing to have a frost. So, um, I don't know how well they'll do. Some of them had kind of turned some yellow on some of them. So, hopefully they will do okay. I've got them in the greenhouse here. That one's got a busted spot. There's a few down there with busted spots. So, I'm throwing them down there. And hopefully, some of these will do all right. Like I said, we had to take them off early. They weren't quite done like I would like them to be. But we've got them in here in the greenhouse to dry. But we had a lot of them. There you go. All right. There's Lee. He's happy now. He's putting underpinning up. He's happy now. <laughs> he... Uh, he was quite the grouch yesterday. <laughs> he was a grouch yesterday. He was tired of being under the house and ready to get it done. Uh, these have been falling off left and right. That's the passion fruit. They have been getting done and falling off uh, left and right here. You know, we don't know what this tree back here is. If anybody knows, they can tell us. This... It's a very pretty tree. Um, we're just not real sure what it is. It is not any kind of um, holly berry, holly type things. Because the leaves are just regular leaves. But it's very pretty. Now, before they turned red, these were orange. They were kind of white looking or green greenish colored and then they were orange and now they are red closer to uh winter so if anybody knows what that is i haven't tried doing the app that identifies plants yet i might do that when i get off here and if i do i will post on here what i found out because i haven't tried that but they are really pretty sky sky's a good girl Sky is a good girl most of the time. <laughs> oh. All right. That's it. That's what we got going on. The happiest thing is getting that underpinning back up. Yay. Woo! Yeah, because that just means that I'm done underneath there for now. Done underneath there for now. He's got a little bit to do on the back side, but it's not as bad as the front was, so. Don't say it. All right, that's what we got going on. <laughs> I better turn this so, off. So, y'all give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Watch me on Thursdays at noon Central Time, talking about healthy eating and dieting and, uh, Watch us both on Friday nights at 7 Central Time. Um, we just have a good time. And uh, watch for some of our foraging videos. And we have a playlist of foraging videos. So check that out for us. And um, that's all, folks. <laughs>